Quinta-feira é dia de estreias e chegou às telonas o aguardadíssimo filme It, capítulo 2. O primeiro longa da franquia bateu recorde de bilheterias aqui no Brasil, em vários lugares do mundo. E olha, conversei com os irmãos Andy e Barbara Muschietti, que são diretor e produtora desse filme aí, para saber o que a gente pode esperar. O papo foi bem bacana. Roda aí. Hello. Finalmente, o Andy e a Bárbara chegaram até aqui fazer divulgação do filme em São Paulo e pararam para conversar com leitura dinâmica. You guys, thank you so much for being with us. We're so happy that you're here. It's an honor to be here uh, promoting the movie and uh, and yeah, it feels good. It feels good to finish the movie. It feels good to finish not only the movie but the cycle of of it which took us like around five years. It's a whole yeah, it's yeah. a five year uh, five year adventure. Um, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful adventure. I swear, if it isn't dead, if it ever comes back, we'll come back to it. In the second part, we have them as adults with different lives. There's a huge story there, a lot of scenes and everything, but the thing is, I think there's a message, a very important message in a movie. Mm -hmm. What is the message for you? Well, it's a it's a message about uh, friendship and, and love. Uh, the first movie is a it's a it's a story of childhood and uh, and friendship, uh, but also it's also about the power of, of unified belief, of you know the power that we have when we're together. They don't remember exactly what happened. They know they you know they, they were friends and stuff. But the worst is, is still yet to be discovered. The the second one, in in particular, I, I think I don't know. It resonates so much with with us, with me, um, because it's my generation this time. It's not remembering my childhood. It's what we are going through right now. And um, you know, in Andy and my case, I think we grew up so much, not only as director and producer, but also as human beings in the past. Um, five years, we became adults. For 27 years, I dreamt of you. I craved you. I missed you. Tell me, how, it, how does it work with you guys being brothers and working together? Yeah. Do you go home or you go to a family dinner and talk about the movie or discuss anything? It's all mixed, it's all mixed at all times. So she's a producer, I direct, and what, like you most of... You don't ever fight about anything. All the time. <laughs> Every day. Yes, because you're brothers. There's that time of the day when like producer and director have to talk because produ producer comes and says, we have to finish. And I'm like, no, we have to, we don't have to finish. I have a, I have another shot to make, and like you know, that's where the arguments happen. But we, you know, we argue every day. Uh, but it's, it's still a healthy, <laughs> like professional brother, right? relation. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Please. And there are so many scenes, elements, and there, you keep like this the whole time. You know, like uh -huh. you're surprised all the time. Thank you. Was that the first idea from the beginning? Because I think it's there. There are more scenes and places and elements and, and yeah. fantasy than the first movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a you build it bit by bit. But when you have the script, uh, you mainly as a as a, uh, as a filmmaker, you need to envision each scene with all of the details. Sometimes you come up with ideas like the the, the day before the shoot, yeah, the that, morning that, before, oh, and it's like and you're calling everyone. And it's like so. Let's you know, change this. Yeah, we need a, a chicken in the scene. <laughs> and they have to bring a chicken and a, and a truck or something. And, and sometimes it's there and it's like genius. And sometimes like people react to it like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and sometimes it's like, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do it. I was always daddy's little girl. What about you? Are you still his little girl, Beverly? Are you? Guys, we know how much you love this movie. We're very happy to be in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. We came specifically to thank you, to to visit you guys, because you gave us so, so much on chapter one, and this is how we want to give back to you, chapter two. Chapter two is coming, so I hope you guys enjoy it and keep floating. 
and the adult diapers. <laughs>